Um, and then the board also awarded a very large construction contract for Jenny Dean Park. Mm -hmm. um, tell me a little bit about that. So this is about a fifteen and a half million dollar contract to uh, do the first phase of, of uh, reconstruction of Jenny Dean Park, and this is something that we've talked about for a while too, as part of the Four Mile Run Valley uh, master plan and, and park planning process. And I'll just get to the basics. You know, Jenny Dean is a is an almost 13 acre park. And as part of this, we are getting uh, two new lighted diamond fields as well as uh, playgrounds for children of, of, of you know, young ages and then middle ages, a new basketball court, uh, some gender neutral bathrooms, uh, picnic pavilions, uh, some historical interpretive elements. This is really gonna be a crown jewel park in Arlington and it, it recognizes that we've neglected Jenny Dean Park for far too long and it's it's at the cusp of uh, you know the convergence of the Green Valley neighborhood with Sherlington and really serves as a huge regional magnet for athletics and leisure casual recreation so uh, we want to make sure that this park is is able to serve all of its multiple stakeholders well and I, I'm just excited because I, I think there's going to be uh, you know, money well spent and it's going to really help serve to uh, be the key catalyst to realizing the plans for the four mile run area that, that, that our community works so hard on. Well, this is a very popular park. I mean, just oh, those yeah. neighborhoods, um, it's well used, shall we say. Indeed. Now, is it just upgrades for the most part or <laughs> are there new things that, the, that are not there now that the public can expect to see? Definitely more than just uh, upgrades. So the, the fields exist uh, and you know lighting exists even though it's inadequate and the basketball court and tennis court exist presently but those will all be improved but then you're going to get some new pavilions um, which are going to allow for people to have that sort of casual use. Um, there are going to be some historical interpretive elements which have never existed before which pay homage to the Green Valley community and the neighborhood's history. So substantial amounts of new stuff in addition to ensuring that um, the old elements are in a state of modern repair so that uh, those can, can be utilized more so than laying dormant as they often are now. One of my favorite parts about it, uh, Christian, actually, is that, that I think the park, what we'll find is it has much more of a connection to the stream that is right oh, there. Oh, yeah, I forgot the overlook. Ex yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be an overlook, and we're actually going to do some stream uh, restoration to make sure that, uh, that the stream bank is stabilized. If you go there now, it's sort of outside the fence, and you don't really, mm -hmm. it's there, but you don't really, you know, interact with it in, in any uh, particular way. And uh, and so I think it's, by re we're slightly adjusting the location of and the orientation of the ball fields, and that opens up, there's going to really be, I think, uh, a fantastic community amenity to be able to enjoy a much more natural setting uh, and to make sure that it's stabilized and uh, and 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 that stream area, that natural area is preserved uh, for generations to come.